Hi everyone, myself Rakesh. I'm here to explain few important questions that occurred in gate from digital logic concept. So when you go for digital logic, now the world is digital world. Everyone, everywhere we are using digital technology. So the only thing the digital indicates for us when you go in for depth is one as well as zero, which is understand by only a computer machine. So that is what digital world is. So now I'm just explaining few important questions which occurred in gate earlier. So the first question, the two's complement representation of the decimal value minus 15 is this has occurred gate 2011 computer science and IT. Okay, so the two's complement representation of the decimal value minus 15. So the decimal value of minus 15. The question is the decimal value of minus 15 is how much okay so now when you represent the decimal value of minus 15 into binary format that is minus 15 into binary format so the answer is 0 1 1 1 how it will be 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 square 2 cube 0 okay so 2 power 0 any power 0 will be obviously the answer will be 1 2 power 1 2 2 square 4 2 cube 8 so 2 cube plus 2 square plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 0 the 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 will be 15 okay so the binary format of 15 is 0 1 1 1 1 okay the question is the two's complement representation of the decimal value of minus 15 so now if you are changing this system into two's complement the values will be interchanged that is 1 0 0 0 1 okay so the 0 will be converted into 1 1 will be converted into 0 that is a two's complement what we know so when you go for the two's complement of this value okay the obvious value is one triple zero one so the same thing just match this in the options first option is all ones four ones five ones six ones one triple zero one so now option is d so when you convert the decimal value of minus 15 first so we will be getting uh, 0 triple 1 sorry 4 1 now the same thing when I represent two's complement so I'll be getting as 1 0 0 0 1 so the simple thing when you take any complements if you're just complementing by 2 that is 2 complement so the values of zeros and ones will be always interchanged so now the obvious exact answer will be 1 triple 0 1 and our next question is Sign extension is a step used in. So sign extension that is if you are performing any operation. So when you have binary digit format, uh, whether it may be addition or subtraction or multiplication, the sign the sign sign should be changed. So now the sign extension step where we are using. So now when you go for options, floating point multiplication. So when you multiply when multiplying binary digits, so there will be always extension of sign. Now when you go for sign 16 bit integer addition. So now when you are adding 16 bit integer addition and with sign. So there will be no sign extension. When you are performing arithmetic left shift. You are moving the values from right to left. So there itself no sign extension. And converting a signed integer from one size to another. Here we are just converting the integer from one size to another. So there is no meaning for sign extension here. So 
So simple thing, sign extension just step in. Floating point multiplication, yes, we have it. Sign 16 bit integer no. Arithmetic left shift, no. Converting sign integer from one size to another size, no. So sign extension is a step in floating point multiplication. We know that. Fine. So our next question from digital logic. Uh, assuming all numbers and two's complement representation, which of the following numbers is divisible by this number? Okay. So this question has been asked in gate. 2014 computer science as well as IT. So here he mentioned that assuming all numbers are in two's complement representation. So what are the numbers which he mentioned are in two's complement? So and he's asking which of the following number is divisible by this number. So first thing we need to find what is this number. So the number is. So this is the number. So now when you are converting this number to two's complement, okay. So we are converting to two's complement from two's complement. So the value will be okay. So when you are converting the same number to two's complement from two's complement, this is my value. So when you convert to decimal value, the output will be. 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square and the remaining everything will be zeros. So 4, 0 plus 2 power 0, 1, 5. So this number is 5. Okay. So the question is assuming all numbers in 2's complement. So these are all in 2's complement. Just convert from 2's complement. So when I convert this number from 2's complement, I got the value as 5. So now which of the following numbers here are divisible by 5. Now find each number's two's complement value. So the value for here is this number is 5. So I am finding this one. So when I am making it to two's complement, so the output will be for this number 2 power 0 this will be everything 0 2 power 1 2 square 2 cube 2 power 4 and the main thing will be zeros so 16 plus 8 plus 1 that is 25 now when i'm making this one first i'm converting from two's complement so the answer will be 2 power 1, 2 cube, 2 4, 16 plus 8 plus 2, 26. Now when I am converting same thing from 2's complement, two power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 cube, 2 power 4, 2 power 5. 32 plus 8 plus 1, 41. When I am converting this number to 2's complement, from 2's complement, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Same thing here, 2 power 0, 2 square cube 4, 2 power 5. 32 plus 4 plus 1, 37. So now, we got the values from two's complement to decimal value. The value of this one is 25, this is 26, this is 41, this is 37. So now which of the number is divisible by 5? So 25 is divisible by 5. 26, no. 41, not. 37, not. So the answer is 25 is a number which is divisible by 5.